there, my friends. For our next class, or if you're working on this on your own, for your next challenge, I want you to pull together everything we know about reactions and get ready to play a game. This game has the goal of making as much money as possible. So it's sort of like Monopoly, but a little more exciting and with a lot more thermodynamics. We're going to use as our basis for this the steam reformation of methane, the same reaction we've worked on several times already this semester. So in that reaction, uh, you are going to imagine you have a chemical plant and you're gonna imagine that, well, you're really only controlling the reactor of this chemical plant. And when the game starts, I'm going to give you a series of costs and a series of uh, profitability. So that is, everyone playing this game is going to start with 100 moles of feed of some kind. And your goal is to turn it into the most profitable mixture of uh, products and reactants you possibly can. And you will be able to control the temperature that your reaction occurs at, you will be able to control, to some extent, the composition uh, entering your reactor. And you will be able to control the pressure of your reactor. And all of these things will have associated costs. So, for example, if you start with very pure methane and very uh, pure steam, then that'll be more expensive raw materials than if your methane is more conventional natural gas, which has some elements in it that just don't react. Uh, likewise, the higher up your temperature goes, the more expensive it gets to run your reactor, and the further your pressure deviates either high or low from atmospheric pressure, the more expensive it is to run and build your reactor. And then, after you've worked out what, at equilibrium, the composition of your reactor is, you can sell that, and the more hydrogen there is, because that's the valuable part, the more that's going to be worth. So, how do you get ready for this? You need to set up a spreadsheet. You probably have set up uh, this mostly already, but you can. Uh, I want you to take it further. What you want to have in your spreadsheet is the uh, ability to put in either straight up original numbers of moles or compositions or both uh, for a given feed. And then you need to be able to choose a temperature and a pressure and to be able to relatively quickly solve for C, an extent of reaction, which then gives you Ys that you can turn into uh, the output flow, okay? And then you're gonna associate all of those with the prices I give you so you know how much money you're spending on your raw materials and on your reactor, and you know how much profit you are potentially making from uh, the products that you create. So you wanna walk into class, this next class meeting, and be ready with that spreadsheet, which can be built on top of KCalc or can work in association with KCalc, and we'll play a game. And there will be, trust me, fabulous prizes.